I want to talk about Chloe. Listen, I know that this is an old subject, but I felt really strongly about it when this whole, like this image first popped up and it became like a subject for everyone to talk about and ridicule. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and I'd be shocked if you didn't, this photo right here is what I want to talk about. Khloe Kardashian posted this selfie, well, I guess it's not a selfie because she didn't take it, but this photo of herself on Instagram and clearly um, just considering, you know, the amount of people who probably know about it already, it received a lot of ridicule. Now, <sighs> there are so many layers to this, you guys. Regardless of how you feel about the Kardashian family, try to remove yourself from that very quickly. Just remove yourself from any opinions that you might have about them. Imagine that they are just a regular family or imagine that you don't even know Chloe is just a regular woman. Not only is this a human being, this is a woman who clearly has severe body facial dysmorphia. Clearly this image is incredibly Facetuned. Um, if you don't know about Facetune, it is an, an editing app, um, an image editing app, and there are a lot of different things that you can do with it. You can, um, for instance, something that the Kardashians do often is, uh, shorten their chin that's like a thing is where you make your chin look even smaller which i guess is supposed to be cute or something i don't know it looks very strange but it, that's it's incredibly clear that she did this to herself in this photo uh if you compare it to this is a screenshot of her doing interviews on the show and then that is obviously the photo that she posted she has a beautiful face like she did get a nose job i know she's had work done um I did meet her in person and she looked fucking great. I mean, their makeup artists do put a lot of makeup on them, but it is because of, it's for, it's for, you know, photography, it's for photos. There's, there's a reason that red carpet makeup is going to be incredibly different from what you're wearing day to day. Now, if we're going into, now obviously I'm not a fucking psychologist or anything like that, but I just, the way that I interpret this is, when she looks in the mirror, she doesn't like what she sees. She doesn't see what, what is really there. She doesn't accept what is really there. I understand this. I can relate to this. I've been in this position. I have overly edited photos of myself because I was like, I can't, I would take photos of myself and I would think there's no way that I actually look like that. That's horrible. And it's a fucked up thing in your brain. Put yourself in this woman's position. She, through her family's like connections, actions, whatever, has been basically thrust into this position of unbelievable fame. How the actual fuck is a person, once again, remove everything that you, you know, all of this, yeah, but she, or yeah, but she does this, or she said this, or whatever. Remove all of that for a second and put yourself in that position. Anything she does and posts on the internet is seen by the world and they comment on it. And yes, she has a lot of fans, a lot of people that are going to stand up for her, but she has probably just as many, if not maybe more, people who hate her, who hate her family and are just going to be saying things to hurt her. <laughs> so of course she's going to be uncomfortable in her own body. She's plastered all over the world. From the very beginning, people would just refer to her as the like fat, funny sister or whatever. How are you supposed to feel good about yourself? It's only obvious that her view of herself would get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I think this photo is, is a result of that posting this photo, the fact that she looked at it and she thought like, oh, yes, I love this and I'm going to put it out there. She doesn't look like that. It is incredibly manipulated. Now, I understand that there could be an argument to be made that like all these celebrities editing their photos, putting things out there, acting like their lives are so perfect, um, is very damaging to young, young women. I mean, everyone, young people. 
And I think that's a valid point. But criticizing, criticizing her posting this isn't making anything better. If anything, it's going to make her feel so much worse about herself. I feel like I'm not even saying all of the things that I like want to say about this because I remember when it first happened and I was just like, oh. like I immediately felt so bad because I was like, oh, this is crazy. Like it's crazy. It doesn't look anything like her. Like that's so, so crazy that we feel like we have to like smooth our skin like cr I have been there. Manipulate your features. Now, I did see a couple people, one person in particular on Twitter, I don't, I can't remember who it was, but I was like, what? Said, I take photos for a living and, you know, this is just like the result of good angles, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely not. Yes, that is the case. In fact, right now I'm using a zoom lens, which when it's zoomed out, it kind of makes things a little more like, it kind of looks like a sphere a little bit. Um, when it's more zoomed in, it's a little bit more like level and flat. I don't know if I'm describing that correctly, but when I take photo, I'm going to actually insert two photos so you can compare how a photo of my face using my prime lens, uh, obviously a camera lens, how that looks versus how a photo, hopefully I can find one with the using, like wearing the same makeup with my phone. Using the, the back, the back camera, this is the iPhone um, 8 S, S, 8 plus, S, whatever the fuck. Um, is it an 8? Yeah. So using this one, not this one. It will do some distorting and the majority of that distortion is going to happen in the center of your face. It makes your nose look a little bit bigger because the phone is long. I almost hit myself in the face. Because the phone is long, it kind of like elongates your face and you can see those differences between those two photos. So there's always going to be distortion. And me personally, when I do editing now, it's usually to correct some of those distortions so that it doesn't look like so ridiculous. But this is not that, this is not that. But the reason that I wanted to talk about this is I feel like a lot of the same people who will yell at her for, you know, this isn't you, this isn't what you look like. Um, you're such a bitch for like putting this out there, smoothing out your skin doing all of this editing, blah, 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 are the people who are contributing to making her feel like she has to do those things. Um, I was listening to someone say, I can't remember who it was, but they were talking about social media and how now, um, oh, what was it? It was like the difference between now and before social media was people could talk shit behind your back and you didn't have to hear it. And that's the way it was meant to be. Is that like people could talk about you but you weren't subjected to it 24 seven. Now with social media, if you choose to have a social media and you put your stuff out there on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, whatever, people have immediate access. You can see, you, you have immediate access to all the shit that people are talking about you. And that's, that's not something that we've ever really like dealt with before as people. Um, so obviously it's going to affect the way we look at ourselves, the way we feel about ourselves. So the first thing that really struck me when I, when this was all happening and I was, I was reading all these articles about like everyone was talking about it, everyone on podcasts, on YouTube channels, on um, just articles everywhere. Everyone was talking about Khloe Kardashian selfie or photo, whatever. And either criticizing, it, well, criticizing it or, or just state simply stating the facts that she posted this thing and it was highly overly edited and sharing other people's opinions or sharing people's tweets about it. And the first thing that I thought of was, what the fuck, like, if I was in her position, like, of course it's going to lead to this. Of course I'm gonna feel bad about myself. Of course I'm not gonna feel like I can fully be myself because I'm plastered everywhere. And I mean, like, let's face it, like people, again, regardless of how you feel about her or her family, people are, all over the world just talking shit about everyone. I'm not defending the family or the actions of the family or, or telling you that you have to um, support them or whatever to understand this, but I don't think enough people actually like sit back for a second and put themselves in someone's position, especially with celebrities. I remember having conversations with people where, and, and I have definitely done this myself, where I look at a celebrity and I'm like, mm, I mean, like they're not that pretty. Like this person's way prettier. 
And it's like, we kind of hold them to like this very, very high level where they have to be like completely perfect. And then I've done a couple like um, thought experiments where I'm like, yeah, but what if I went to school with that person? Like, what if I was in high school with that person? I would probably think that they were like the most beautiful person in the entire world. Even though I'm looking at them in this movie and I'm like, Meh, they're like not that pretty. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's just, this brought me to the point where I'm like, we really do need to step back and not be so judgmental immediately and maybe put ourselves in that person's shoes to fully understand their actions, why they're doing certain things. Because immediately jumping as a mob onto someone on social media does absolutely no good. <laughs> absolutely no good. Why would it? Why would we expect it to? So do you agree, do you think that I'm on the right track here with this Chloe photo? What did you think? What was your first reaction? Were you one of those people who was like, what, I can't, I have to comment on this. I have to tell her that this is ridiculous. Um, did you immediately take a screenshot and send it to your friend and be like, bitch is crazy, doesn't even look like this. What do you think? After this little conversation, one way conversation that we're having, are you going to think about things a little bit differently? Next time you see someone post a photo like this, let me know. All right, great talk.